So today we're going to be going over a few cooler weather scents that leave an incredible scent trail behind you that will follow you around all day long. You know, I've always brought the argument to the table that I prefer scent trail over strong projection. And that's going to depend, you know, person to person. And it's also going to vary based on, you know, the environment that you're in, what situation you're going to. You might want more projection in one instance over another. But typically, as a whole, I prefer scents that leave a nice trail over scents that just project super far out. And so really that's what we're covering today. You know, given the time of year that we're in, these are more cooler weather focused, but um, I don't know, there might be a couple of these that could vary and, and work in uh, slightly warmer situations as well. Actually, this first one that we're going to start out with, uh, you know, you could probably pull this one off in spring, early summer as well, just depending on what your tolerance is for certain types of scents. You know, so I will link everything down below if you're looking to purchase, you know, make sure you're shopping through discounters. You don't really want to be buying any of this stuff at retail because all of this stuff is readily available at discounters for a significantly lower price than retail. Some of these, I mean, really could be half the price of retail by shopping through discounters. So make sure you do that. So that first one that I was kind of talking about was Ralph Lauren Purple Label. Now, this is nothing new. I mean been out for a while. Don't remember for sure. What is it? Early 2000s, right? Something like that. But, you know, it's it's one that I think is kind of overlooked, right? Because you have all of these new polo blues, polo reds, Ralph's clubs, all of those being put out, you know, pretty much on a yearly basis. All of those lines are getting a new flanker. And so when you have all of that going on, you know, all this flashy new stuff over here, Sometimes you kind of forget to take a look back at some of the classics that are still really good, and that's you know the case with this one. Now it's got a really nice blackberry note, which is underutilized in my opinion. You know, you just you never see that. You get quite a bit of oak moss in here. You get some coriander, kind of giving it a green smell, and then some sage and some thyme too. So some aromatics, kind of an herbal note, some green notes from the coriander, but also the oak moss gives it kind of a green, masculine, woody, musky smell. And then that blackberry note, which gives it a, an interesting type of fruitiness that is uncommon, which that is what sets this one apart right here. It smells incredible off the top. You can almost smell like the blackberry seeds. You know, it just has that seedy kind of green, woody smell to it. It is an amazing scent from start to finish. You know, you're going to see this one compared a lot to Bond Number no. 9 Bleecker Street. Now, this one did come first, and there is still a difference between the two. Bleecker Street uses blueberry instead of blackberry. It still uses a lot of oak moss, right? So, again, similarities, but also key differences as well. And so, which one do I prefer? You know, I'll still take Purple Label, but I do love Bleecker Street as well. Now, well, this one does leave a really nice trail, so when you spray it on and you start walking from room to room, it's going to hang in the air quite a bit. You know, one thing you can do to test this theory a little bit to some extent with most of these is to spray stuff up in the air. You know, if it hangs in, in the air for a while, chances are you're off to a good start. Now, oftentimes, having it on your skin and be, having it be activated by your, your body temperature will help that even more, so something to keep in mind. Okay, let's move into Amouage Interlude Black Iris. You know, we're kind of going more fall and winter with this one here. So, you know, no surprise here with this one. It's kind of in the name. You're getting some iris in here with the Interlude DNA, which is kind of a, a smoky, resinous, and slightly earthy undertone. You know, the original Interlude, man, it is something something else, right? Not everybody's going to like that one because it's very, very strong. It's very specific. I think it takes not only the right type of person, but also just the right situation to wear it in because that one could be a little bit daring or off-putting sometimes depending on just where you're going and what you're doing. Oftentimes because of the incredible performance that it has to back it up. And so that's one where it's kind of hard to get away from. You know, if someone doesn't like it and they're nearby you, they're just going to have to deal with it because that scent isn't going anywhere. You know, and even things like, uh, I don't know, the new interlude, was it 53 X straight, right? The, the true pure parfum. That one is even more crazy strong. You know, if you want to go in a, a different direction, a more wearable and approachable direction, a black iris is the way to go. I would say this is probably 
the most wearable interlude scent, which is why it's in this video. Well, one, because it leaves a great scent trail, but also because that scent trail is more likely to appeal to more people. You know, it's gonna have a little bit more mass appeal compared to some of the others. It has a nice smooth nature about this one, but also uh, keep in mind, it still does have original interlude in here, some of that smoky earthiness going on, but it's just tamed back a little bit. Armani stronger with you? Absolutely. You know, I mean, this one is by far the most popular and you might be tired of hearing about it, but it just works for a lot of situations and, and for a lot of topics as well, a lot of interests, right? Because if you're talking about, you know, beast mode winter scents or fall scents, this one fits the bill. If you're talking about great compliment polling, cooler weather scents, this one works, you know, in this case, talking about, you know, scent trail fragrances, ones that really hang behind you, this one works. I mean, it just, it does a whole bunch of things. Now, this one really isn't all that unreasonable. You know, the price has worked its way down a lot over the years. It used to be really hard to get. And when you could get it, it used to be very expensive, you know, like 150 plus dollars. That's not the case anymore. You know, if you're shopping in the right place and it's in stock where it should be, you're typically expecting to pay just a little bit over $100 for this, for 100 ml. That's not unreasonable in the grand scheme of designer fragrances these days. Like I said, I will link this one down below. I'll try to drop it in for the best price that's available right now. Uh, oftentimes, things like these, when they're at a really good price, do sell quick. Like testers just came up for 90 bucks, okay? I sent out an email notification for that one and it sold through quick. So that one's gone, but you can still get it for a fair price. So this one has vanilla, chestnut, and rum uh, with some tonka bean as well. So it's kind of a boozy take on the Stronger With You DNA, utilizing that chestnut, which gives it a little bit of a gourmand feeling. And also sometimes kind of gives it a bit of a, I don't know, kind of coffee, cappuccino undertone. Not really sure why, almost like a hazelnut maybe is what I'm pulling from that. But I do really, really like this one. It's by far my favorite Stronger With You, and it's worth picking up. Parfums de Marly Altair. Wow, what a beauty. I love this stuff. It's probably gonna be one of their more popular, successful releases as far as newer ones are concerned, right? Obviously, Leighton, Herod, things like that. It's gonna have a hard time competing with those as far as a popularity contest because those have been out for a long time and they are super popular, especially Leighton. But given this is a newer release, I think it's it's eventually at some point gonna be one of their best sellers. You know, I, it's doing really well right now. A lot of that's because it's new, right? Everybody wants the new PDM. But I don't necessarily see that wearing off and, and seeing this one going away. I think it's gonna stay pretty consistent. It's got praline, vanilla, cinnamon, and cardamom. So very, very sweet, very gourmand, and a little bit warm and spicy as well from that cardamom. And the praline note is what's really bumping up that sweetness. And it's used quite a bit. You know, Paco Rabanne or Rabanne has used it uh, a few times, you know, like an Ultra Red and Black XS, things like that. And just other brands in general have used that note. But it's, again, it's a sweet note, which gives it gourmand aspect. And then you're getting, again, some of the cardamom here. Nice, smooth, creamy, almost syrupy vanilla undertone, which smells incredible. Now, if you don't want to spend this much money, because it's kind of expensive, uh, Fragrance World Liquid Brun is a great alternative for like $40, right? And it's, it's a really, really accurate clone. And if you want to grab a sample of this one here, you can head over to decantcenter.com and we'll get you squared away there if you want to try the real deal before you buy a full one. Let's move into Guerlain Patchouli Paris. This is going to be among their more exclusive premium line, you know, so the price on these, quite a bit higher, but they do make up for it because it's it's really good. It's got patchouli, ambergris, and vanilla, just to name a few of the notes. There's a couple more, but that's kind of the, the main idea behind it. And so if, you're, if you don't like patchouli, then stay away, right? Kind of uh, an obvious take there, but it should be said because it is the focal point of this one. Now, it's not necessarily an overwhelmingly daring patchouli note. You know, I, I wouldn't say that because you get a lot of balance here from that vanilla, from the ambergris, which is a very common and familiar note. 
there's quite a bit of padding around this one. And there's also quite a bit of a freshness around this one too, even though it still does lean kind of in that sweeter direction. This stuff is incredibly strong. You know, you only need a couple of sprays. You're going to be leaving a great scent trail behind you and it's going to be doing really well. Dior Fahrenheit Lay Parfum. It's got the violet leaf note in here, which is common throughout the line, but then you're also getting some vanilla, suede, and rum. So a boozy take and a sweet take on the fresh OG Fahrenheit DNA. This is by far the best one that's in production, which isn't saying much because there's only like one or two in production. The original Fahrenheit and I guess this one, which I'm not even 100% sure if they're still making this one at full capacity or not. But they did discontinue some of their best ones. Uh, Fahrenheit Absolute, 32, Aqua and Cologne, and probably a couple more that I'm missing out on. They're all really good. And so you just you can't get those anymore. You can really only get the original and get this one. It's a pure parfum, 75 ml, typically around 100 and anywhere from 110 to $120. So price per milliliter is high, but it's well worth it. You know, that parfum gives it that amazing scent trail. The quality is next next to nothing else out there as far as designers go. Like it's a premium top tier quality scent. And just the uniqueness, man, this is so good. And I'll be the one to say it. I think it is just so much better than the original Fahrenheit. And there's nothing wrong with the original. This one just offers a little bit more. You know, you're paying more for it, but man, it's a big step up. Okay, this next one is um, a favorite of mine. It's an OG. It's something that you've seen a million and one times by this point, but it still works, especially for this application. It's YSL Lanoui Delome. Okay, I mean, this stuff is just, it needs no introduction. It is the cardamom bomb that is what brought so much attention to that note, right? I think when anybody thinks of a cardamom scent, you think of Lanoui Delome. Even though there are so many others out there, this is kind of the one that, that brought it to the mainstream a little bit. You know, so again, it's cardamom and lavender is essentially what you're getting here for the most part. There's a few other notes. You get some cedar wood later on, but that's really what it's all about. And it is such a mysterious, addicting, and sexy scent that leaves an amazing trail. Now, this has never had the best longevity. Okay, that's one of the main things that people or, you know, upset about, and it, it does suck, but what can you do, right? So longevity, not the best. Projection, not the strongest either. It's more of an intimate scent. However, it does leave a really good trail, better than you would expect. Give it a few sprays, and especially spray right behind you, like right on the back of your neck. That's going to help to facilitate the trail behind you as you move from room to room. You'll be surprised on how much this one can kind of hang in the air and how many people are going to be saying something about it? Invictus Parfum. This is so good. You know, I, I really like it. I think this and Invictus Victory Elixir are a couple of the best Invictus fragrances you can get right now, at least as far as in production, right? Not talking um, some of the older ones like Invictus Aqua 2016 or even Invictus Aqua 2024 because that's kind of a airline exclusive or travel exclusive really hard to get, not really counting that, it's just an unfair comparison there. As far as easy to get on discounters, Invictus Parfum and Victory Elixir are just two of the best out right now. So this one has soap, sea notes, musk, and lavender. Not really what I was fully expecting from a Parfum, although it, I guess it makes sense, right? Because Invictus, Invictus Legend, most of the Invictus fragrances are fresher leaning with kind of um, some sort of aquatic or or, you know, uh, blue, ambroxan, citrusy, fresh undertone, right? And so typically when I think of parfums, I think of something sweeter. But in the instance of how the Invictus line goes, this makes sense. It still maintains kind of a, a fresh, clean soapiness, but with a bit more character. I just think it's a lot more interesting than the original Invictus and Legend and Platinum. It's, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So if you're expecting a really sweet version or something, this isn't it. But keep in mind, you could go over to the Invictus Victory line. Again, more specifically, Victory Elixir. That is going to give you what you're looking for. But if you still want to maintain a bit of a freshness, Invictus Parfum is the way to go. It has great scent trail, great longevity in this case as well, and it's already on discounters for a reasonable price. What's not to like? We're going to finish this one with Killian Sacred Wood. This one's got sandalwood, milk, 
cedar wood, and a bit of myrrh in here, okay? So milk, right? You know, that typically in my mind, milk shouldn't have a smell. If it does, that's probably not a good sign. In this case, it's more like a, a texture, right? So I would describe this one as being probably one of the creamiest sandalwood fragrances I've ever smelled. Now, you know, sandalwood generally does have a bit of a creaminess to it, whereas something like a cedar wood is a little bit more textured and rugged and spicy. And there's different variants, of course, you know, could be a bit more dry, could be less dry, could be more smooth, or also could be just very, very earthy and rugged and again, textured. Whereas sandalwood is pretty much the opposite, right? They're pretty easy to tell apart after you've smelled, you know, a fair amount of each, right? And so this is sandalwood, creamy, just taken up a notch. So that's kind of what that milk accord is alluding to is just a very silky smooth sandalwood. And now you're getting some of that myrrh in here, which is adding to the sweetness, but really it's uh, it's sandalwood. It's, it's kind of the star of the show. That note breakdown there is, is for the new re-release sacred wood. They used to have this out several years ago and it was the old style. So instead of having the gold accenting, you know, the gold cap and the gold plate, it was uh, like silver, okay? On that one, the silver bottle of uh, sacred wood, they just had two notes, I think it was, and that was sandalwood and milk. So they've, they've added some extra padding to this note breakdown, but it's still essentially the same as what it used to be for the most part, a sandalwood forward scent. It's got great performance, more specifically, fantastic scent trail. You're gonna love it. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. Some fragrances that will leave a great scent trail behind you all day long. Like I said, I will link all these down below to discounters if you're wanting to pick some of these up. Shop through discounters, okay? I can't stress that enough. Save a lot of money and then you can take that money and buy more fragrances or invest it or save it or whatever. But it's just, it's a good way to be a little bit more smart when you're spending all this money. And if you wanna try before you buy, because some of these offerings here are expensive, check out our website, decantcenter.com. We've got some of the best prices in the industry as far as fragrance samples are concerned. Just go check us out, do some price comparing, and you will see we've got them beat. And so we're trying to help you guys out to allow you to get some things into your collection or to try some things so you don't make a costly mistake. Got free shipping over $49, a great rewards program, a free sample with every order. And we don't have everything in this video up over there available right now. We're working towards it, adding new stuff every day. But we've got quite a bit of other stuff as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.